Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And uh, my wife says, oh, you got to come out here because uh, they're out working in the garden again. And my dog, our German Shepherd, apparently has found a lizard and doesn't quite know what to do about it. What is it, Belle? What'd you find? You find a lizard? It's got blue tail. What is it, Belle? Brave. Are you a brave girl? Who is that? Where'd it go? What is it, Belle? But it was curled up. It's gone in deep over now. Get a bell. What's in there? What's in there? Let's see. Can you see a lizard in there? What is it? <laughs> Did you find him? Did you find him? Yeah, he's under there. So this is another flower bed that they've been cleaning up and it already looks amazing. Well, yeah, look at how much crap we took out of that one. So all this stuff down here came out of this one little spot here. It's actually very pretty and Belle's still fascinated with that lizard. It was a blue-tailed lizard too so it was kind of cool to see. But uh, this is actually very pretty. It's got an aspen in it, an old log. And uh, it looks like they're getting ready to tackle this one. You're cutting the poor ass bed. That's a pretty tree. Um, yeah, we're going to need the tractor again today. Yeah, it's going to be another tractor day. But uh, you can just see how everything's overgrown. And uh, I'll show you pictures of this when they're done. But. Uh, and then there's always cinder to help out. This has got a lot of the sweet peas in it. Um, all this is old sweet peas from last last year. But new ones are coming up already. And they are pretty, but man, they're, they'll invade your house. But, that, that'll be our sweet pea thing right there. Yeah, that's all sweet pea. There's another island over here. And... Uh, this is all the sweet peas that died from last year, but new ones are coming. So, uh, yeah, they just come back every year. So, if you want something easy to grow, sweet peas. Did you find it? Where's it, Belle? You're a very brave dog. Okay. I like the lizards, so. Yeah, don't hurt the lizards. Okay, I'm doing good. <laughs> So while the girls have been working on that, uh, I did work on the strawberries, had to refill the tank, add the master blend, but right now I'm transplanting uh, tomatoes into bigger containers, so I'll show you what I'm doing. So basically I'm taking my, uh, I only had two Rockwell uh, cubes that didn't take. Um, these are uh, some more of my tomatoes right here. And I put the Rockwell cubes in a uh, ver vermiculite. And I'm just adding, I put them in the center right here. Then I just add a little bit more, water them down, and they're happy as a lark. So uh, I do put a, a liquid fertilizer, super lightweight, into each one of these. Um, and uh, they seem to be really happy with that. So I'm going to finish these up and then we'll add some water. Well, it's another breezy day here, so bear with me if we hear the wind. But uh, apparently I've been summoned to uh, get over here. 
and get the tractor over there for the girls. So all my planting's done for now. Still got a lot more to do. And uh, see if we can get the tractor fired up. So uh, since I ran this yesterday and ran it a good long time, I'm going to take the chance that I don't have to use a jumper. We'll see. So sure in heck I had to put the charger on it. Uh, I've had this old Napa battery service charger in here and it seems to be a little better than the one I used before. So we'll give it a few minutes, see if I can get this fired up. I have to kind of laugh. If you ever notice in this garage, all this rock, and all this is volcanic rock. And Sherry's father used to do what's called napping or making arrowheads. And so here's kind of some samples of this stuff. And it's, uh, there's tons of it here. This is all, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, but they, uh, he used to teach arrowhead making lessons called napping. So that's all rock there. All rock in these buckets. And this is all rock. It's all that volcanic rock. And every time somebody comes over, we send them home with a bucket of rocks. Because uh, we don't do the napping, but uh, there's a lot of it here. got this thing started. Uh, took a while, but she's running, and we'll take this out to the girls. So I thought I'd show you, this is the back of our property back here. We've got a lot of property back here, all the way back there. It goes all the way over here too. Anyway, we're putting a new burn pile over here. So we opened up the gate here. The only thing I kind of worry is I don't like running the tractor on the, on the grass, but, and Plus, my dogs like to get out here. Come on, Belle. Let's go. Come. Come. There's Belle right there. Come on, Belle. Come. So I finally got, got Belle in. Uh, she gets the smell of the deer back there and stuff, and sometimes it's hard to get her back. Anyway, I'm going to take the tractor back, and I think i got to do one more load. So we're out here in the yard, and these guys are clearing out this spot, which is a very unique one. Um, We've got cactus here and stuff. Well, they're pulling out some old plants over here. And look what they found. An old quail. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ow! That's a cactus garden. This has got a cactus in me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> those are uh, quail eggs. And uh, I think they're from last year. Most likely our dogs might have spooked them or something. He's kind of sad, but man, that hurt. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey! Cinder! You are... What is that? What are you doing? It's like a big pineapple. It's not hot, really. It's going to be bad. All right, Cinder, you got to give it up. Give it up. <laughs> so I uh, thought we also, since we saw the quail eggs already, kind of show you how this is cleaned up. Um, we had Sherry's mother explain to us kind of what they were doing here. They just kind of did something unique. I can't remember what she called those. Yucca. Yucca plant. And it's the only place we got the yucca plant. And she put some cactus in here. Like we're from Arizona, like we wanted to see more cactus. But, uh, you know, it's kind of unique. So, we're, you know, we're going to keep it. And then they cleaned up this island here. It looks really good. That's all sweet peas in here. So this thing will be green and lush and really full of flowers. Then they... Yeah. And uh, this has all been cleaned up and looks really good. And then we showed this earlier back here. Um, this little island here looks really nice. It's so nice to have a help. We're very grateful to Jalen helping out. And uh, this all came out good yesterday. So 
wow this is really opening up and looking pretty and uh did you guys open up one of the eggs yeah it's just all dried out inside yeah so it must have been last year's eggs pretty cool all right guys we uh moved up onto another project i'm in the greenhouse and if you look up above uh one thing we don't have is stringers for the tomatoes in the future now i was going to use cable but i'm kind of a cheapskate i'm thinking baling wire <laughs> and so i decided to do baling wire uh eye hooks and uh little tighteners and uh so i uh <laughs> pretty much i'm gonna go with that and uh trying to get the enthusiastic enough to get up there and do this but uh <laughs> i want to do this before i put plants in so it'll be a good thing and it'll be strong and it'll be affordable so i'm going to i'm not going to show you how i do all this i'll kind of show you in result if it looks any good it could be a fail uh i don't i'm hoping not but it should uh should do the trick so let's see what happens okay so we got the eye bolts in and uh that was a bear and they got two for both ends back here and two over here and the next trick is how to string the wire well we got the cables on so uh we got a cable going all the way down there they're pretty tight uh, i put uh tighteners on them right up there that one crosses across over to that side over there and uh yeah i worked out fine without having to spend a fortune so uh we're good to go well guys i'm gonna wrap this up here glad to get the cables in still gotta plant some potatoes probably do that tomorrow it's four o'clock and these two guys have been bugging me because it's their dinner time so guys i want to thank you for watching please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world and uh may you have a blessed day and uh be safe everyone talk to you later bye our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.